Mind maps are two-dimensional diagrams linking words and pictures together to visualize, structure, and classify ideas. Mind mapping can be a useful tool for solving problems, outlining presentations and papers, and reviewing notes. It is a particularly powerful tool for visual learners. To make a mind map, write your topic at the center of a piece of paper. Next, write down the main themes of your topic in radiating branches. Once you've done this, you can start to add related ideas as sub-branches around your main themes, or even sub-sub-branches if needed. Don't be afraid to get messy and draw lines between points or themes. One of the advantages of the mind map is that it helps you discover new relationships between ideas. If you like, you can add pictures or use different colors for each theme. When you're done, you should have a sheet of paper with an organic, associative outline of your topic. Mind mapping can be useful for taking notes during lectures. The main advantage is that it allows you to focus on recording the structure of what's being said instead of copying down everything. While its usefulness for note taking during lectures is a matter of personal preference, mind mapping has been proven to be very effective for helping people map out and recall central ideas distilled from readings. Many groups and businesses employ mind mapping to brainstorm for new ideas and to solve problems. Mind mapping can be a very effective way to quickly gather and structure ideas during group work. As more ideas are added around the central topic, new connections and relations can become evident. Mind mapping is excellent for outlining papers and presentations. The technique forces you to relate ideas to your discussion points providing you with a solid framework upon which to build your arguments. You can even use applications like Prezi to turn a mind map into a presentation. There are dozens of computer and web applications that can help you make a professional and clean looking mind map. These can be particularly useful if you want to publish or share your mind map. Computer applications are also great if you want to quickly move ideas around from one branch to another without starting from scratch. For more ideas about note-taking and critical thinking, go to the Learning Commons Study Toolkits or attend one of our online workshops.